It's no secret, or maybe it is, that Ann Arbor, Michigan is rated one of the best cities in America. They're actually rated number six, according to Niche.com. Everybody's thinking about it, everybody's talking about it, the food is good, the sports are good, and there's things to do. Well, there's not all good things about Ann Arbor, Michigan. We're going to go into a true depiction of some of the pros and cons of living in Ann Arbor, Michigan. What's up everybody, it's Travis Junty with the Living in Southeast Michigan team. If this is your first time here or if you've been here before and you want to learn everything about what it's like to live, eat, sleep, play, work, or anything else in Southeast Michigan, make sure you hit that like button, tap the subscribe button, and then hit the little notification bell down here to make sure you get notified whenever we put out new content so you don't miss a thing. We get so many people reaching out every single day and we absolutely love it. You can reach me by text, call, email, or you could even set up a Zoom call down in the description below. Days, nights, weekends, if you're looking for anything in Southeast Michigan, I've got, I've got your back. I'd love to help you out. So hey, let's get right into it. Pro number one, the school system. Now the, the school, these stats that I got are coming from niche.com, right? So the Ann Arbor School District is ranked number eight in the state of Michigan. And, and that, that's for the that's for public school system, right? I mean, so that's that's only the Ann Arbor School District. That's not any of the surrounding schools, you know, around around Ann Arbor. I mean, those all have really high rankings as well. Um, and also, if you're looking at obviously most of you know of University of Michigan. I mean, that according like once again according to Niche.com, and the U of M is ranked number two best public university. In, in America, not in Michigan, but in America, and there's 30,000 plus students that that come to come to the University of Michigan every year. And um, in, in another interesting stat, right? I mean, the average graduation rate of college students for a four-year four, four year come on, man. four-year university is right around that 60 to 65 percent. U of M has a staggering graduation rate of right around 90% or 93%. I mean, that's just a that's just a crazy stat. I mean, it's we're we're, we're pumping out some uh, some good students here. So now the number two pro for Ann Arbor is things to do. <laughs> I, I couldn't quite uh, you know be just outside recreation activities or inside recreation activities. I kind of just the aerobics in here. So many activities bundled it all into one pro right I mean there, there's so many things to do in, in, in Ann Arbor and surrounding areas right now there's a number of beautiful parks in and around in and around uh, Ann Arbor I mean it seems like most of the neighborhoods around Ann Arbor have some type of little park uh, you know, w within that within that uh, neighborhood limits or village or city limits right and if, if you go outside of Ann Arbor you're a little bit uh, a little bit west of Ann, of Ann Arbor, you hit the uh, Waterloo Recreational Area, right? I mean, that's a very popular area for, uh, it's, you know, primarily they've done a lot of work there for the uh, mountain biking, you know, so if you're looking for mountain biking in the area, uh, that's that's the premier spot in, in, in Michigan. Um, and, it, and that's crazy, I mean, I'm from the Upper Peninsula, right? I mean, we have a lot of good mountain biking up there. I mean, there's uh, you know, Marquette Mountain area, there's uh, Copper Harbor and, and, and way up there, but. You know this uh, DTE trail system in uh, the Waterloo Recreation Area is just—it's just, it's just a, a fantastic place to be. And, and, and outside of just those rec that recreation area, I mean, there's several metro parks even in and around uh, the Ann Arbor area. Uh, there's also, you know, roughly about 10 to 12 golf courses uh, in the in the kind of Ann Arbor surrounding area within you know within uh, several miles outside the kind of the Ann Arbor Loop. You know, within and within, within and just outside of it. Uh, there's also the uh, the Huron River, right? I mean, the Huron River runs right through uh, the city of Ann Arbor. I mean, it's great for you know you can go kayaking, you can go uh, tubing, uh, you can do a lot of fishing. I mean, it's just whatever you like to do on the water, right? I mean, there's all kinds of little things you can do. Um, and, and as far as you know, some in inside activities. I mean. You know, we have. Uh, you know, I'm a family with. A, we got. We got five kids right now. So I mean, we we spend some time at the uh, the Ann Arbor Hands-On Children's Museum. I mean, that's not just for. That's not just for kids, right? I mean, that's for. That's for uh, kids. That's for adults. I mean, we had a great time there. Um, so it's it's. 
those are some of the things the things to do around Ann Arbor that really stand out stand out to me. Now pro number three of living in Ann Arbor is the vibrant arts and culture scene. Now I'll be I'll be honest, I am not a arts and culture guy myself, but I can't really have a pros and cons list list of Ann Arbor without putting that in there, right? I mean they have a globally inspired you know, culture cultural events here, right? I mean they have the the Ann Arbor Art Fair, the Ann Arbor Blues and Jazz Festival. Uh, they have multiple museums and theaters and galleries. I mean, all kinds of things to, you know, for you to immerse yourself in that cultural uh, atmosphere here in the, you know, the city of Ann Arbor. Now let's start out with the three cons of living in Ann Arbor. And we'll start out here with number one. Number one being the cost of living in Ann Arbor. Now, with all the pros that we had, you know, the great schools, the arts and culture, the, the things to do in Ann Arbor, also comes the higher cost of living because the desirability to live here, right? In Ann Arbor, it's not, it's, it's, there's a mix of older and newer homes, right? And if you're looking to go right inside Ann Arbor in that kind of circle of Ann Arbor, you're gonna be paying for it, right? I mean, our higher cost of living it's just a lot of it comes from the real estate pricing. Um, now, now if you're looking at, uh, if you look at this graph here, right, you look at the city of Ann Arbor, it's considerably higher than uh, you know the Washtenaw County, which is what uh, Ann Arbor is in. But even if you look out just up to the north, if you look in Livingston County, if you're looking in uh, you know cities like Howell or Brighton or Pinckney that have a good commute time to, to Ann Arbor, I mean you can still you know, work and spend a lot of time in Ann Arbor, but just live right outside of the city, right? I mean, that is, you know, these are places that you can do. Now, you won't know that without calling me, right? Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email, or drop a, drop a comment down below. Con number two with living in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And well, I said it, where you're in Michigan, you have the winters, the Michigan winters. Uh, a lot of times these can last, you know, four months, five months, six months or more, right? Uh, we'll get snow in October, we'll get snow in November, December, January, February, March, sometimes even in April, right? You could have seven months of, you know, gloomy days with snow on the ground, right? Um, it's not always the case. I mean, right now I'm looking outside. We've have we have brown grass, right? But it's it's a little bit cloudy outside. So I mean, a lot of times, you know. January, February, you can get a lot of a lot of cloudy days. I mean, if so, if you if you come from a place like uh, you know Arizona or, or Colorado, Denver area, where you get a lot of sunshine, you may not like it. You may not like the lack of sun, right? <laughs> so be prepared. Con number three of living in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and that's the traffic and the parking. Now I touched on this a little bit earlier. Uh, there are some people that are commuting into Ann Arbor, living in the communities outside of the city. And with our infrastructure here, there's just a lot of traffic. There's a lot of people, a lot of traffic jams. Uh, and there's not really a good public transportation system that brings people into the city, right? I mean, there's, there's you know, buses, you know, public transit within the city, but you still gotta get it in the city. And not a lot of people are into carpooling, right? We have some carpooling lots and stuff like that, but you know, quite frankly, not everybody takes the carpools. Uh, and even during the school, the school year, right? I mean, we have a lot more students in town. I mean, 30,000 plus students. Uh, and that's not only, not only during school, but also on the weekends, right? When you have, uh, you know, a football game down at the big house or something. I mean, that's, that's crazy. I mean, if you're trying to, park somewhere I mean you could be parking uh, you know a mile away or more trying to trying to walk to the field I mean the, the big house houses is uh, a you know, hundred thousand about hundred thousand plus people there so that, that's uh, the, you know the big big con number three traffic and parking hey look this is just scratching the surface of the pros and cons of living in Ann Arbor and I'd love to help you but you have to reach out to me you can shoot me a shoot me a text give me a call send me an email you know, just set up a Zoom call in the description down below. Look, I got your back, days, nights, and weekends. But until next time, we'll see ya. I'm out.